Morning, morning. I just want to give God thanks and praise to you, all the guests, and also the listeners. And we honor the Holy Spirit this morning again. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, you have been listening to the program since we began this morning, so there is right. not much that I should say. Um, you may just go right ahead and build on that platform. Go right ahead. Okay. Um, uh, while you were speaking about the, the amount of um, earthquake that um, they have felt over the period of time, but I just see a report um, that they said the, the, the Los Angeles Times that saying that there is 80,000 earthquake in the state of California that take place in July the 4th. Wow. 80,000. <laughs> and they are, this is not a mistake. And they're saying that the scientists are now becoming nervous um, because um, the aftershock of um, the two very large um, events that it um, reached Crest era early in the month over the the um the period they, 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 they are now saying the pattern there is a very unusual pattern that has begun to emerge and um they are they are start to see they are start to becoming very nervous and the fact that they are seeing the aftershock it's approaching the Owens Valley fault and it's definitely alarming and if it hit that far, then you know what happened um, off of California. That they are saying possibly is going to fall in, within the sea. Um, according to the Los Angeles Times article, aftershock of the mother with someone, some point one near um, Ridgecrest. Um, and um, what they are saying is that they, 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 they are mentioned something towards the Garlock Fault. A lesser known fall capable of producing an earthquake of magnitude eight or more. And the fault along the northern edge of the, you know, you know. So um, what they are seeing is surprising. And um, the, we have to um, ensure, you know, just like what the Lord said this morning, that the, the globe itself, um, a lot of what we call um, the book of Revelation, when you look at it carefully, it speaks to you a lot of signs, a lot of symbols. So as time as you pray and things unfold, we start to understand more in terms of what John um, literally was seeing. And um, especially even the LGBTQ, a lot of people didn't know that the Antichrist would come through. That, that means that anyone, any nation, who dare um, come against them, without, who refuse to bow, according to what we have seen in Daniel, um, when you know they asked Daniel to bow, then they automatically would be thrown in the fire. And that is what is happening now. Um, LGBTQ is literally um, taking over nations, and no one dare, no leader, um, you know, would stand up. I'm not talking about religious leader. Because we have, we have seen as soon as a religious leader speak, they begin to call you radical and they will try to block you and um, turn you off from even going to, um, you know, certain countries. Um, one, of, one of the things that the Lord, you know, I've been speaking to us about it said this year, um, beginning in the West, um, because I think um, what we call holiday is is finish um for western um christians because western christians have been enjoying all the peace and and you know that have been taking place and um we have now seen the persecution start um we have seen 30 pentecostal christian you know arrested during a community prayer meeting so in canada and the united states of america we have seen the arresting now taking place um, and now being increasing. Um, so we have now seen the end time, um, one time in America, the Constitution, um, um, you know, this design with God in it, you know, under God, under whatever, even on the dollar. And now we are seeing um, for prime meeting within our community. 
someone can just call you and um, they, they just arrest you because what you may be saying or what it, what is happening uh, may you know somebody might one person may in the group say they are atheists or whatever and we are seeing these things happening now and also we need to watch the heat waves that are taking place in in um in um Europe it it is now impacting heavily on the ice and the ice is now being melting and uh, in the Arctic and um that is what that is very dangerous because what it means is that we might see a lot of flooding um that you know that's about to take place because the ice is now melting so those are serious stuff um taking place um right now and we also see development of the um, Mount Etna, uh, you know, the, the, the volcano um, rising up, you know, so a lot of stuff has been happening, people, um, that we need to look up and, you know, you're you listening right now, whether you're uh, um, safe or unsafe, you have to understand that one of the deceptions that the Lord said in the end time is that if he does a shorten the day, the very lack will be deceived. And um, we have seen scientists come out now and said, the hurt is slowing down now, something is up. And um, shortening in the day means that the axis have to be shifted. And it is happening. It's plain because uh, the scientists may be trying to deceive us because we didn't know that. Uh, a lot of people didn't know at first that, um, you know, people quickly show what we call respect to science. Um, uh, a scientist then, or oh, we show respect to a uh, man of God, whether they want to call him theologian or whatever, whatever they want, want to call us, a fanatic or whatever. So they will quickly, you know, show respect to a scientist. So if a scientist says something foolishness, we accept it even when there is no fact, because a lot of scientists have declared things over the period of time where there is no fact, and the next scientist come, and they keep counteracting. One time we used to have scientists who would inspire by God and would understand how the, the earth operate according to Psalms um, 19, you know, where David, you know, true revelation from God, you know, could, you know, say to us, you know, this is what is taking place. This is how the sun functioning and the sun is in an envelope. Uh, our Psalms 36 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very helping trouble and certain stuff that they these men would, would reveal in terms of what had happened in the end time. It's something that science, a scientist cannot debate the, 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 um, the, 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 the Bible and the creation and what God created. They may try to go around it to try to deceive people because they when we talk about false prophets and false teachers, it, people always quickly believe it's a pastor or a prophet who, who falls to give a false prophecy and the prophecy that won't come to pass. But what God was saying, it, it's not part of the, the, the false prophet and the, you know, um, the, in the end time, a false teacher. It's not necessary within the body of Christ, but those within the media that would convince different people, the scientists that would convince different people in terms of things that they would turn their mind away from God and become easy and become okay so if you hear that you know they're going to be a thunderstorm um later around or so um and if you hear it from the sands you would rest assured you'll be okay they would say well thunderstorm is coming and you don't have to worry you don't have to take shelter and stuff like that and everything's okay right so you, you begin to believe them so what happened is that your discernment is not yet at a place. You have to ensure that our discernment must be in tune because what they're literally doing in the end time with the information is to try to get people not to be ready. And um, we begin to focus on busily doing different things and focus on the wrong things so we get caught. And that's why the Bible said we must be, we must be on watch like a thief in the night. And a thief in the night means you don't know when a thief is going to strike because if you know when a thief is going to strike, then automatically you would prepare for that thief. But what happened is that all the things that happened 
is 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 the is, is the fulfillment of the Bible itself. And while the Book of Revelation may have the talk to you about the same seal and the same trumpet that would pull. Now, if you look at the the, the, the the seal and the trumpet in the Bible carefully, you realize um, people, those that are listening this morning, because God, you know, Lord said before, come on, um, stick on it because He's dealing with some um, heart. Amen. God dealing with some heart today, and He wants you to, you know, to be ready. That means if the rapture should come, whether or not you believe, because I know that some church said to you that there is no such thing as a rapture and, uh, or whatever, and especially um, certain aspects like Seventh-day Adventists and stuff like that. So, you know, it will you know, allow you to, be, you know, begin to live in a particular way without the ready. And so there are different stuff in the book of Revelation that must unfold, and they are unfold already. Uh, it's very weird. If you look in the book of Revelation, you see anything um, that don't happen because um, one of the big events that the, the book of Revelation speak about is that something would eat our water system and um, the, it would poison the water and a lot of stuff would happen. But we don't know if that happened. That, we have seen uh, the amount of fish dying and things, you know, the Lord said this week, things getting out of hand within the ocean, bacteria that they said is from the book of Zechariah, literally, you know, that is taking place. Is taking place. We are losing all of our water. They speak about one third. And right now the world is in crisis. And uh, in terms of water, with some country literally don't have water. And I believe a war is going to break out very shortly. And, you know, rewater. And that's why I see some of the, the countries are going into different countries and trying to get their resources. Uh, because they know who have food and water in the end time, who know have power. And um, we need to pray. Now, when we speak about um, 2019 and 5779, and we say it's a manifestation of the four horses, as in Revelation and Zechariah. And uh, we talk about the white horse, the red horse, the black horse, and the pale horse. Now, the white horse, again, I said, symbolize international power and politics. And you hear um, what Reverend Chatterer was speaking about. Um, what is happening in Hong Kong in terms of territory given back and um, the people are now rioting because they want peace. They are tired of the communists. If you realize um, China, of this China one policy, and um, you, you have also um, Taiwan, who they are trying to force um, to be. Because, so there's a problem with Taiwan also because they, the prime minister of Taiwan... Um, just visit Haiti and they are trying to visit different Caribbean countries to recognize them, United States recognize them as a country. And they are even buying weapons, you know, to fight to the death that China will not get it. So China want a place like Taiwan and um, and um, a place like Hong Kong. And these are some of the stuff because of the rule that is going on there in terms of what is happening. They are the red and in the end time, the Antichrist is going to be manifesting through places like um, China, Russia. And uh, we see also an uprising in these territory. And it, it is um, this morning while praying the Lord said to us uh, yesterday that more problems are going to take place in Russia, more demonstration and also information that going to be passed to the West that going to frighten the West, that mean. We don't know those information um, going to pass, but people, we are in the information age now, where um, information, just like WikiLeaks, going to be passing, uh, you know, upon evil certain countries. And we see it happening recently with, with even the, um, the ambassador of um, England, you know, speak something about United States of America, and he have to left. So we're still going to see more information leak on the Lord. There's something going to be with, with all the uprising that taking place in, in Russia. Some information going to lead to the West. And when it come out, a lot of people are going to shock and realize that they're coming after the Lord. So, symbol of international power and politics, um, we see that play in the form of military conquest. That's a white person. 
that the Bible is talking about, you know. And global deception, you know, you know. You don't even know to believe now, people. Don't even believe your politician or believe anything what people say. You need to be tuned in with God that every situation that you see taking place in the end time, you need to ask God. Um, it is over the weekend, the Lord said to me, um, look on the word sound, you know, sound, 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 and begin to look on the Bible about sound because he said, for every mighty move, whether it be blessing or judgment to the earth, there is always a sound that comes first. And um, he said, you know, every Christian <clears throat> should be hearing a sound. Because when you hear the sound, just like when you hear the sound, the lightning is the voice of God. In the book of Acts, when the sound of the mighty rushing wind, a move of the Holy Spirit, was about to take place. He said, the sound, he heard, he said, the sound. And then the Holy Spirit just come upon everybody, right? And also, when Elijah, you know, um, decided to, you know, after he prayed, said to him, um, you know, the sound, that he hear a sound of a mighty, um, 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 abundant. It means in First King 1841, you have to hear the sound, that the abundance of rain. So, even for the blessing itself, uh, our judgment, the prophet must able to hear or the, 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 the Christian a sound in the spirit. Sometimes you hear a sound and you know that something is wrong. The rapture, you know you're going to hear a sound even before the literal rapture comes that we are near and something is not added up. No, hear a sound. So before you see the literal manifestation, the prophet say, hear a sound, a blessing, carry a sound, rain, a rain coming, there is a sound. When prayer go before God and he decides um, to send our blessing, even the book of Revelation, you hear the, um, John said, you know, that he hear a sound like a trumpet and, the, and a door open. And they say, come higher, come up here, an invitation for the next dimension to show you the things to come and it's begin to show John. And then he said he hear like a, a flute or a harp, something like that. And God even saying, you know, we need to listen to those instruments again because even some of the sound that we are hearing is, is um, contaminated and polluted for you not to tune in to God. So, so there is a sound and the, the sound comes first, then the unseen power of God. So there's going to be an unseen power of God, and we need to look carefully also. On Revelation 14, now we examine it carefully, because in Revelation 14, the Lord speak about the, um, the, 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 the reaping of judgment that's about to take place. The harvest of soul that is about to take place, that each time you'd see one angel carry out an act. Because each one of the instructions, when I be the seal or the trumpet that will open, is for a particular prophetic act to take place in a particular time. And then each each act you'd see like an angel, and you know, when you say angel, um turn, you know, come and the angel of the Lord will do whatever. Then you realize that the manifestation of that act begin to take place. And at one time John said in the book of Revelation that he weep because he hear some of the saints were singing a song that only those that redeem could sing the song and understand. So even the unsaved God is troubling. Even the unsaved get in dream and some of you can't sleep because you know that something is happening. You hear the sound. They used to have a song in Jamaica. Every time I hear the sound, the sound, the sound, the sound. Amen? Because there is a sound, there is a, a buzzing taking place because of what is about to happen. The Bible said in John 3, 8, the wind blow where it wishes. wishes. That's the Holy Spirit. And you will hear the sound. When the Spirit moves, there is always a sound. A sound is on the move, the Spirit. And even this morning, I'm speaking people... When you go to your bed, sometimes you hear like a trumpet is blowing. You can't sleep and it's moving because God is just, you know, dealing with our body supernatural. It's like you go 24 hours and can't sleep. And the Holy Spirit is sustaining you. And we talk about Philip in the Bible and the supernatural strength. 
that God would give them for them to, to move from one place to the next. And the, the Philip anointing, is now pouring out upon God's people because the laborers are few. So God now giving supernatural power and manifestation to his servants, you know, that they can preach the gospel, even without being tired. He refresh you, supernatural. And sometimes you wonder, my God, is something really wrong with me? Why can I sleep? You know, something. Because the Holy Spirit um, troubling us. So it's that time of soul. God said also to David, the other time he said to David, David, when you hear the sound, you know, within the tree, then you should go up and attack the Philistine, which was tragedy, the Holy Spirit. So we are hearing a sound right now, a buzz, and this buzz is waking up God people because something big, that vibration that is traveling through the ear, you know, you, you are hearing it. Um, something big is about to happen. That sound that you are hearing. Now, so I speak about the White House. So the White House speak about also um, politics, um, international politics, form of military conquest, global deception. Many countries will conquer through loans that they are borrowing from other countries. Um, that means a lot of countries borrowing loan, and uh, when a country default, they are about to set up their head office. So you're going to be seeing. Um, building that going to build, you know, to host different people um, from other countries that we are borrowing from. They're going to also set up their office. And some of them, you're going to hear that they are setting up their office. They're not going to leave the country again because of whatever. So they are setting up office right now in different countries because of what happened. Um, so God warning countries that, you know, keep borrowing loan. Um, many of them are going to run in trouble in terms of what that means. So the White House, the White House also speak of deception. You're going to, deception as never before is going to increase. And there are over 10 deception, the Bible you know, literally speak about in the end time, including miracle signs and wonder, false miracle. A lot of people are going to be traveling to and for, um, looking for miracle. And as Christian, you're supposed to know that and these signs shall follow, you know, we're not supposed to be following signs, but signs follow us. So they are still unstable Christians in the body of Christ that tend not to look on the fruits of profit within the earth. But once they see something as a miracle work, then they will begin to flap that person and say, God is with them. They're not even looking on the fruit in terms of what Jesus said to us. How do we... Um, takes a profit, you know. Um, I see yesterday, and it's sad, sad you know, social uh, media and um, on television, that people we've asked in um, female, uh, you know, who, let us say a profit come to you and said, all right, you have a red bra, so, um, you know, show the people that you have on a red bra to show that he's a true man of God. And these are not scriptural. These things are happening, and you have to understand people that it is critical for you to know the word because accuracy is not what makes someone a true prophet. But by their fruit, you shall know them because the devil himself accurate. And you're going to see a lot of signs and one in the end time and power. And even, even people that once one time were faithful to God but have fallen away in apostasy, one thing is that God don't take back the gifts. So you have a lot of prophets already backslidden. And some of them are going to be seeking greater power from the enemy to become relevant and to maintain a particular status within the body of Christ itself. And because most people believe that to be an accurate prophet is the only thing that you look on, is not the fruit that you look on, we're going to see more people that are going to get deceived and more people are going to fall away um, in the end time. Um, the Red House now speak of um, symbol of civil war and strife. And uh, you're going to see a lot of civil war. It starts already. Uh, Reverend Chapter is speaking about Hong Kong in terms of what's happening. We see it start in Russia. This is part of the stir that God was saying that he has to stir nations. And by stirring nations, he will prepare different people to begin to get saved. So the story taking place with demonstration, the story taking place, um, which we, we speak already on it, um, with the 
environment acting up in a particular way because of the stirring of the Holy Spirit. The stirring taking place in different governments. You know, this morning, the Lord said, pray for the India government because we're going to see some stuff happen in India um, that's going to going to shock us and uh, we need to pray and also pray for the protection of the Indian Prime Minister that they may not successfully um, take him out and uh, make us a problem so these are, are, are some of the stuff the Lord also said pray we're going to see a story taking place in Netherlands and um, as never before that would be shocking remember Netherlands and uh, the um, and, 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 and Gaza and Egypt you're going to see it turn up in turmoil again. All of those places going to turn up in, um, in turmoil. And um, we need, you know, to cry out for the Lord, especially intercessors in terms of what is happening. Because in this story, God wants to win some souls. So you're going to symbol of civil war. You're going to see in America, the Lord said to yesterday, I wonder if America or some part of the Caribbean, you know, are, you know, uh, prepare for what is ahead. You know, you know, you know. so we, they may not prepare when God starts to ask the question. Then we as Christians ourselves have to prepare for that, the food, water, and also prepare your soul because we're about to see, you know, civil war and strife that has never <clears throat> before, you know, going to be taking place. Um, <clears throat> also, the black horse, um, in the Bible, you talk about this black horse, and, uh, and black horse normally speak of symbol of economic disruption. Um, some country already say, you know, we're entering into serious, what we call, uh, depression again, and, you know, and symbol of economic disruption. You know, there's going to be great inflation that will take place, and things will become scarce and shortage and labor problems. Um, low wages, rampant starvation. And, um, and that's why God, have, you know, people need to stockpile because even by stockpiling, you can make some money. Uh, people are going to shift the goal, you know, going to see a lot of country. And we see Russia, China doing it. And also the president of the United States of America calling right now for them to get back to the gold standard. Sorry to say that Jamaica is still pursuing her direction that God didn't tell them to, 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 to pursue. So we see a problem now on our business because our dollar is no longer stable. And so there are going to be a great shift in the global economy that's going to take place, a great shift, and you're going to see it happen even between now and September. Amen. Um, the pillars um, speak of symbol of disease and death. And devastation, Ebola start to rise again. Um, things heating your flesh within the sea. Um, rat taking over places that they're saying disease. Um, devastation, shortage of medication. That's the next one that's going to take place. And more problem in the ocean. The Lord said, pray over the, the, the fish that you are eating. And I've been calling over from time to time. I've been saying that Jamaica need to utilize um, the University of the West Indies and uh, what they call it, um, food infestation um, department that they have by puppy and begin to set up their offices at the different seashores and begin to run random tests on our fishermen. Um, the fish that come in that people would go and buy because most of the fish now, um, in Lord said they are going to be serious contamination. That may affect people different sickness in their body negatively. So the nation can't wait until something happens. You see a big headline and a few corporations for overseas come and make a big thing and they say big headline and you know they say let us get when we are telling them long time what to do to put them in a particular place of readiness and preparation. So we need Montego Bay, Kingston and the different places that these offices begin to expand. The government need to that every seafood they need to begin to test them, amen? And um, they can also work along with the, the, the JD, of course, God, that sometimes they can go on the key and carry out random tests that the full manifestation of contamination that may not, you know, that, that, that don't, you know, trouble us. So God is saying, 
um, that we must prepare, I mean, you know, in terms of the contamination, you know, that testing um, can take place uh, to save life, not wait and wait till something happens, then we start to cry out. Um, uh, part of the whole climate change thing, I think part of the prophecy that the Lord gave us in 2000, I just um, to recap it, um, 2019, um, one of the things the Lord said was, they will be shaking, you know, weeping, wailing, perplexity, remorse coming for those who reject God and his word, and many will be confused and in heart. Many are blasphemed, and, we, it, and it will be too late for them, you know, in terms of mercy. Many of them will be perished because the Lord said judgment will begin to manifest. And God is calling everyone to go home during that time and begin to make an altar and begin to cry out before him that the deception, the false prophet that's going to be emerging and the, the great deception and the great infiltration that's going to be taking place in the church. Instead, the deception will be great in the end time. And God is calling his people that regardless of the message that you're hearing, that you need to have a personal relationship with God. Because some of you, you may go to church, but you don't have a relationship with God in terms of where how you read the Bible. Amen? You have to read it and get revelation because certain revelation and, and, and certain stuff only can come through the Word. And as Christian, we are lazy. And um, most time. um we refuse to read the word. We, we tend to focus on magazine. Each time Christian would go into the supermarket, where they would put this magazine with gossip, you would quickly take it up and you would read it without realizing that you need to feed your soul. So he said natural disaster will take place in India, Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, North America, South America, Sierra Leone, Japan and Egypt, you know, and more disaster will break out globally. We will see hailstone will fall from the sky and history will change course. We have seen hailstone falling even in a, in, a, in, a, in a place in Australia where the entire community dump up and car, destroy and everything. They have never seen size of those balls that fall, like a cricket ball. Serious thing ahead. And he said... It, um, to understand God's ways, you know, we understand He's doing, but in all, there will be greater collaboration with these disasters and great healing will take place. More disaster will be taking place. Sun will be piling up in some part of the world and this will cause water to be directed to different places which did not have water before as a sign. So God said we're going to be seeing these as a sign that will be taking place in the end time. He said more dangerous laws have been formulated and are coming to put God deep in bondage. But God will break them up. Some will come under the heading of climate change and gender matters. My God. So God even speaking to his people one year or two years before in terms of what to look for. Amen. So more danger laws will be formulated. And we've seen it happening, you know, globally. And they are coming on a dis disguise of climate change and gender matters. More fire will take place within the USA because of the treatment and the cry of the poor. Treatment. The cry has gone up before God, and God is reminding the rich that he is God. Pray also against the biological warfare that may take place and affect many. And I believe the biological warfare already starts in the ocean. So that stuff happening that they are not reporting, you know, and you're going to be seeing more stuff happening, you know, with country and different country. A time is coming where no country will be able to help others because of the vast number of disasters that will be taking place. Scientists will have great problems trying to understand 
the conditions, the climatic condition that will be affecting the earth. And we are seeing it happening. Um, so, you know, I hear somebody in the spirit of what I said. And the Holy Spirit just said, you know, deal with it. It's fear, woe. And when you read all these things in Matthew, as Christian, don't take, take it serious. Amen. You know? All you need is a, a nice message this morning to say, well, you are blessed and highly favor, and you're going to be blessed. And oh, God going to give you a car, and in 72 hours, you will be blessed and blessed and highly favor. And it doesn't matter how you live. If you're saved, you're saved. And God is not the God that will take away um, salvation for you. He's a nice God. And he's a loving God. And God so loved the world. And he made his only begotten son. Yes. But the, the, the problem with those messages, nothing wrong, to motivate you, is that God is not coming back, Jesus, as that judge. I, I'm sorry. He's not coming back. As that loving Jesus is coming back as a judge. As a judge. So when, my God, the father look and say, son, go and get your children. Amen. When, you know, Mike, uh, whatever, Michael or Gabriel, you know, with that honor, when he blow. If you don't accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, you're going to see how loving he is. Amen. Because he said, before one of his word pass, heaven and earth will pass away. Heaven and earth, not one of his word, biblical prophecy will fall to the ground. So, as pastors and prophets, you could ridicule God's word as look more. Very shortly, a lot of church is going to be empty. Does not, not preach in the truth. Because the wind that is blowing, that sound is going to begin to affect the people. They're going to start to feel dry and realize that something is happening. Why am I getting so much prophecy? But I'm not feeling something in my spirit. And God is doing it because he's a chief shepherd and the people belong to him. So he said, we must also pray over all the liquid substance that we consume before we, 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 we take them in. It. And right, there are things that are put in them that are not good for our health, all because of greed. So the Lord said, some of the food that we are eating, they put things in it um, because of greed and because they want to meet uh, a high demand of sales. And what is happening is that these things are allowing the people to sick and it's literally poisoning the people. People are dying off. Amen? So we need to pray over everything that we, we decide to consume. Put the blood of Jesus over it as, as kingdom people. Amen. And ask God to protect us because we don't know what to put in our bodies. Everything is fake. And because of the profit that people want to make, it's not one time. The food is not safe anymore. The Lord said we must take care of our body because incurable disease are on the rise. Amen. So each of you begin to take care. Even the water. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. We give God praise. It said many are sick in their body. And the doctor cannot find the issue. And when it is revealed, it will be too late. These conditions come about as a result of sinful hack. And it will be difficult to find physical cure to deal with this spiritual problem. Pray against a global flu epidemic and against the spirit of infirmities. Pray against the oppressive spirit that's going to attack every nation. So what the Lord is saying also is that there are going to be um, a virus, a sickness that's going to break out among the LGBTQ people. A lot of them are going to die. And it, the Lord says some of them are sick already and it's going to be too late because the doctor is not going to want to tell them the truth. And, and, and a lot of them are going to come to the Lord say, if you are um, living a particular lifestyle that's not pleasing to God, he's saying to you, um, ensure that you get your regular checkup. And um, give your life to the Lord. Um, because a lot of that, that, that disease is going to break out globally. And a lot of them going to perish. In terms of the lifestyle that they are living. Um, millions of fish will continue to die at a global level. And contamination will increase also. Be careful of animal with which you mingle, even pet. 
serious climate, climatic and cosmic problem will take place. And many lives shall loss in 2019. And many diseases will break out. That will not only affect livestock, but the inhabitants of the ocean. The damage and massive losses within the agricultural sector will be great and create serious hardship. Many crops will dry up and die. Livestock will die. We'll see floods and rain in some places and much of the produce will be destroyed. While in other, because of the drought that will happen, we will see famine. There will be major food shortage globally, and we will see thunder, hail, fire. We see some yesterday, my God Almighty. You know, <laughs> that's the talk, you know, never before. Lightning and signs of time will break out. Hakasata. Even some cities and country and town will no longer exist. You can't say it in here. This is the word of the Lord. For those within the cult, the hands of God will be heavily upon them, including those who worship Baal, Isis, Akasata. The ones they believe are the God of life, health, and fertility. But the Lord said, unless they repent, they will be experience the manifestation of judgment at the hand of the Most High God, who is the supreme being. The one who rules over all elements. Many farmers will want to give up and walk away from farming because of the challenges, food shortage, especially with fruit and vegetables. So we're going to have a shortage of fruit and vegetables. And it starts early. Some places, not even the orange them, you can see. You no know, lemon, limes are coming to things of the past. And if you have a lime in, into your house, begin to, that's something. Whether you have a plan to, you know, squeeze them out, because if you keep them too long, they will spoil and, and, and preserve them. Those with massive investment in our cultural industry will suffer great losses as a result of disaster. And it will cause a massive shortage of food, including peanut, potatoes, and vegetables. This will cause major famine throughout the world. But the Lord said, if my people who are called by my name will cry out, then I will show mercy, and people will be fed during famine. And they obey me. Lord said, worship me with your tithe. You will be protected. Pray for all places where oil is found, all where oil drilling taking place. Because there are going to be many disasters. Some of them, the Lord shows, the people who drilling oil running, war are going to break out for oil, and different disasters are going to attack it, and it's going to cause the oil, problem, the oil price to, 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 to go most of them will crash and workers will be running um, for their life. Price will rise significantly. A great disruption of the earth has begun. For my word shall not return void till the Lord, but it shall be accomplished what it's said to do. And he said, read Isaiah 55, 10, 11, Revelation 9. We'll see locusts, plague, that all eyes will be on Europe, Israel, and the Middle East, Italy, also will receive <coughs> sorry, skin disease. And plague will break out. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Due to outbreak, of global sicknesses. For the Lord said, there's going to be serious shortage of medication. A lot of eye problems going to, going to take place. Skin problems.
going to take place because of what's going to happen. 